just uh, heartbreaking scenes out of Hawaii. They've had the opposite problem that we've had. They had they've had dry conditions, with, which helped spark those wildfires. And here we can't stop getting the rain this summer. Albany had its wettest July on record, its third wettest month on record in July. And take a look right now as we look towards Schenectady off towards the west, we see one of those showers moving on in. Not seeing any lightning with this, but this is known as a rain shaft when you could really see the heavy rain falling in the distance. And there's that cell right over there. Let's uh, zoom in on a few of these spots. We'll go from south to north right now. Durham in between Westerlo up towards the Knox area in Albany County. There's that downpour just to the west of Schenectady, slowly moving on in. So if you're in the Schenectady area and eventually Albany, I think in the next 10 minutes in Schenectady, in the next half hour in Albany, you could be under a downpour for about five to ten minutes. Then we go into Bennington County, Shaftesbury, one down towards Bennington right now. And then this is breaking up, but if there's any campers up in, say, Hamilton County over towards Fulton County, you're getting a few light showers and even further off towards the north, Long Lake and Newcomb also seeing a few showers as well, some of those containing downpours. But no lightning on any of these storms. And essentially what's happening is there's a lot of energy in the atmosphere in the summertime. Any sort of energy, it doesn't take much when you have temperatures in the 70s and enough humidity to spark some of these showers and storms. But as the afternoon progresses, that upper level energy is continuing to pull out so I think we're gonna see brighter conditions as we get further along during the afternoon right now temperatures are in the mid to upper 70s 79 in Albany 78 in Saratoga 69 in Bennington probably because of the shower right over them and it's 71 degrees in Rutland right now again we see more clouds to the east brighter skies to the west at least more breaks in the clouds to the west so that is what is to come for us later this afternoon and it's still quite sticky out there dew points in the mid to upper 60s a few spots having dew points in the near 70 degrees that will really drop this weekend feeling much more pleasant uh, by then I and mean, actually friday and by this weekend but until that point we're still going to remain kind of muggy outside overall it's a nice day for heading to the track we have nine races today going from i believe 110 to around 545 in the afternoon temperature right up to around 80 degrees brighter skies skies this afternoon, which is a stray chance of a shower or storm. Same to be said for the Altamont Fair. I know there were some sh there were a lot cloudier day yesterday with a few passing showers. I think that shower chance really drops off as we get later on into the afternoon and the evening. So here is how everything plays out this afternoon. Seeing a few showers, they become less and less so, uh, widely scattered as the afternoon progresses. Overnight tonight, I think we're largely dry. Any sort of shower chance would end early. Tomorrow, we start out with more clouds. It's a breezier day and then more sunshine help spark a few afternoon showers and storms. Very hit or miss in nature. I think a few spots could get a quick downpour, but they should progress on through. This afternoon, upper 70s to low 80s, just a hit or miss shower or thunderstorm. Overnight tonight, 63 to 67. It's still kind of a muggy night, patchy fog and some lingering showers early. Then we dry out late. Tomorrow, 80 to 84 degrees. Sun and clouds, kind of a warm middle August day. Muggy and then some scattered showers and storms. Here's a sneak preview of Friday. A strong cold front's going to be driving on through. We're going to start with some storms early on in the morning. Actually, some of those can contain downpours, lightning, maybe even some small hail. On the backside of it, much more comfortable air comes on in for Friday and into the weekend. Here's a preview of Friday mid to upper 70s, cloudier and stormy earlier, and then more sunshine late and gusty, wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour, and that's gonna shape us up for a really lovely Saturday, probably feeling more like early to mid-September with temperatures in the upper 70s, but a really comfortable breeze and low humidity. Sunday's a lovely day, it's warmer, but uh, it's a dry one. Monday and Tuesday as right now look largely dry, but maybe Monday afternoon we do have to deal with a few more showers, Lara. All right, well, at least we have a nice weekend. Here's America.